Several hundred Marines recently took part in winter weather training exercises in Norway. Now, the Russian embassy in Oslo is protecting the exercises, is protesting them rather, and has warned Norway that this could be seen as an act of aggression. Russia's foreign ministry spokeswoman Maria Zaharova has said the exercises may be even considered an attack on Russia. Norway has recently boosted the number of Marines in the country from 330 to 700. The move, however, violates Norway's 1949 agreement with NATO not to station any foreign troops in the country on a permanent basis. And for more on this, we go to former Pentagon official Michael Malouf. Thank you so much for joining us, Michael. Of and so from your experience, do you see this as an attack on Russia or do you see it as a sign of aggression possibly? Is it going in that direction? It's, it's clearly a provocation. I wouldn't go so far as to call it aggression per se, but it, it, is, it is provoking uh, Russia. Uh, it, and, uh, and also, it's not just Norway. It's, it's uh, the other Baltic countries that also have, uh, uh, have had recent exercises, and ongoing exercises. It, it's, it's clearly a sign that uh, the United States in particular is trying to uh, uh, put, contain Russia and show that it's, it's, it, that it's uh, uh, not going to be putting up with Russian uh, activities, let's say, in the Ukraine or, or elsewhere. However, it, 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 is, it is provoking, and it is also uh, 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 something that, particularly in that, from that area, that region, there's a history from World War II with Russia of any attack or anything of this sort, and it, it's, uh, it's inflaming. And, it, and it's, as I said, it's a provocation, and it's uncalled for. It's part of the new um, uh, defense strategy, if you will, to outline that Russia, China, Iran, are all adversaries now, and and so their strategic policy is going to be oriented more in that direction, and and the United States once again is behind all of this, and it's just as it was in in overthrowing the legitimate government of Ukraine a few years ago, and and it um, they and it's um, and I think it's just a sign of the times that we basically are in another Cold War II at this point. So you think that this is not just the the Baltic countries you think that this, the United States is is behind all of this oh yeah sure I mean, we, we, we we're putting troops in we had some Marines out yeah, 300 to 700 is inconsequential considering that Russia could uh, mass uh, 50,000 troops in no time at all along the border but what's the point what why is that happening Russia is not threatening anybody the Crimea was annexed at, at the request of the uh, citizens down there and uh, so and and uh, the Ukraine was was uh, overthrown by uh, and by pro by proxies from the United States and and Western Europe in order to uh, uh, stop uh, Ukraine from going more toward the Eurasia uh, Economic Union and uh, and uh, all, that that is always swept under the rug by uh, by the West. And do you see Russia maybe fighting back? because of this, or do you think this opens the door for some dialogue? I think given, given uh, President Putin's uh, outlook on this, he's not going to do anything that's going to try and heighten uh, tensions along the border because there's enough r going on right now. Trump is basically shooting himself in the foot in other areas, and, uh, but, I, but I think it's something that uh, they're watching very carefully. It would be like, putting, like, like Russia putting uh, troops in Mexico. Uh, you know, or in, uh, and, 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 and setting up a new bases in Cuba, for example. All of that, that from the U.S. standpoint, would be a, a provocation. And, and what, would be the, uh, what would be the point? But, but that's not happening. However, you can't rule anything out. The Chinese are bringing in more ships, and, and uh, even Iran is now uh, thinking of bringing in uh, more, more, more ships because U.S. has insisted upon being present in the Middle East, being right up against their borders in many cases, and when, when we really have no legitimate reason to be there. Well, thank you so much for your insight, Michael Maloof. We sure. really appreciate it. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe to never stop questioning more.